I love my Nintendo Switch, you know? It, it is the best portable system around. It is the greatest home console around as well. But it doesn't have enough of my favorite games on it, you know? Like, most people out there are still craving, like, uh, games that haven't come out or had an entry in their franchise in quite a while, like uh, the Metroid series or the Mother series. We don't have enough Zelda on the Nintendo Switch, at least not enough to satisfy me. Now, you're probably thinking, this whole idea that I have is kind of greedy, but I'm not the only one who thinks this. We definitely need a lot more of the core titles on the system. Now, to be fair, Nintendo has gifted us a couple with the Nintendo Switch Online service, the first three to ever be made of The Legend of Zelda, The Legend of Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, and The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. But other than that, we haven't really got a whole lot of other titles. We got The Legend of Zelda Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, which is basically just a grind. You can do a lot of stuff in it, but it's, it's not enough to be called a core game, and it, after the main story is beaten, it's really all just grinding, collectability, and there's there's some replayability to it, I'll give it that, but it's just not enough to really quench my thirst for a core title. Then we got The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, which was recently released, but it is still just a remake of an older game, and while I love it to death, don't get me wrong, this is literally one of my favorite games to come out this entire year, it's still, at the end of the day, just a remake, and it isn't really the longest Zelda game. It, you can beat it within a couple of hours if you know how to beat it or if you've done it before. So, go figure. Um, and then finally, we do have one of the greatest games to ever be made, God Game of the Year. And it's a little known one, you know, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh my gosh, I love this game so much. And I can play it every single day and not get bored of it. But the sequel's kind of a long ways away and we need more story. And that's what this game lacked. It, it lacked a, a good story. It, I mean, it was a good story, but it wasn't necessarily the most story we've ever received from an entry in the franchise. So, it, it's, uh, it, it's not enough. Let, let's say that. So today, I want to list five Zelda games that I want brought over to the system. Hopefully within the next year or two, maybe. Hopefully. Maybe in a collection. Who knows? But anyways, let's get into this. So, I feel like a lot of people actually expected this one, but come on, can you blame me? This game is such an important entry in the franchise, and it's a beloved tale that's been ported over to the GameCube, Wii, and Wii U. So, why wouldn't it come over to the Nintendo Switch? Well, the answer it might not be so hard to understand. Twilight Princess has been ported over so many times, the Nintendo might just be kind of tired of it. But what they do know is that the fans are not tired of it. Twilight Princess is a very influential game and has been a fan favorite of so many people. I know a lot of people that consider it to be the very best Zelda game, and that's why I definitely think it deserves the spot on this list. I actually really enjoyed it, even though I've only played it once, and that was way back when I was like maybe 15, so like right around the time this channel was starting. And I can honestly remember that it was a very big game for me. The ending was super crazy, I was shocked at every turn because back then, Lil Key didn't know how to use the internet and therefore had no problem avoiding spoilers. I remember traveling with Midna and it being one of the greatest adventures of like my entire life when it comes to video games. And with Midna, her backstory being so dark and also so kind of sad, it was, it was moving for me. It's honestly a perfect Zelda game, if you want my honest opinion. And how exactly is it a perfect Zelda game, you might ask? Well, it does a lot of stuff that a lot of other Zelda games kind of fail to do. One of those being that it has a really massive overworld with lots of things to do, a lot of interesting characters, and just overall had a really great way of telling a story. It doesn't have a whole lot of freedom because the story is quite linear, but when you do have a moment to spare, there's a lot of interesting stuff to do. And I know, it can get kind of tedious with all of those uh, light bugs or whatever they were called again, I can't remember. They kind of fixed that issue with the Wii version I right hear, but let's face it, it's it's just extra annoying, especially uh, in the like Hylia one. Yeah, that, that we, we don't want to talk about that anymore. But overall, I just love Twilight Princess so much, and I would love to play it on my Nintendo Switch. 
And I know a lot of you would too. Next game! The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Where to begin? It's been so good that I got a 3DS port and it was one of the greatest Zelda games on the N64. If not the greatest game on the N64. It was the very first Zelda game I ever played. It was the very first Zelda game I ever beat. What matters is that Ocarina of Time is by far my favorite Zelda game and of course it was going to end up on this list. For those who know me, you kind of should have expected this at some point or another. But what I bet you didn't expect was this is not number one on my list. What could it be then? Hmm, I don't know. You'll just have to wait to the end of the video and find out. Which by the way, please subscribe, like the video, all that stuff because this video it's taking me so long to make. <laughs> Anyways, where to begin with Ocarina of Time? This game has such a big impact in my heart, and it has a lot of great stuff going for it. Ocarina of Time had great characters. It had a timeless story about a hero coming out of his home, going into a world he has never known, and saving it. Saving the princess, being... The hero that Hyrule needs. Doing a bunch of random stuff too. Saving your horse from a really evil rancher hand named Ingo. Finding cuckoos and bringing them so you can get a bottle. Going fishing while you're actually supposed to be saving Hyrule. Learning a song that can cause a freaking weather storm. This game had so much wacky stuff going for it and blew my mind whenever I discovered something new as a kid. I need to stop ranting. I'm, this whole thing's just becoming a big gushing of facts about this game and why it's so good. And I just want everybody to get a chance to play this. So I think it would be really cool to get either the N64 version or the 3DS. I'm not opposed to either. But I would prefer the N64 version to maybe make it a collection with Majora's Mask. I don't know. But please, Nintendo. I need this. Anyways, I really need to stop gushing about this game and so we can get on to the next one. So, next game. So, I talked a lot about Ocarina of Time being my first Zelda game and also the first one I ever really beat. But that's not entirely true. I actually kind of sort of beat Minish Cap a little bit before I first beat Ocarina of Time on the N64. Minish Cap was a very enjoyable little game and I loved playing it on my Game Boy SP back in the day. I actually shared it with my brother Andrew and it was just a really fun experience. Me and him actually worked together to beat it. We had our own little Minish Cap guide which I might still have somewhere actually. Now I'm kind of against using guides for Zelda games but this was the one exception okay I was young. Kinda stupid. Didn't know what I was doing. And Minish Cap was like my favorite 2D Zelda back in the day. It was before I had discovered the Oracle games, but Minish Cap was such a hype game. It had a lot of interesting mechanics, very cute little pixel art. Link and Ezlo as a duo? Super cute. Very nice. Very nice. Ezlo was kind of annoying, not gonna lie, I actually really despised the guy a lot. But when you get to the end of the story, spoilers by the way, you actually really feel sorry for him. And this is definitely one of Link's more interesting partners. He's actually just been cursed this entire time to look like a hat. That's why it's called Minish Cap. Anyways, Minish Cap definitely deserves a spot on the Nintendo Switch because I feel like we just need a 2D Zelda that isn't kind of outdated. I'm not saying the older games are outdated because I actually really enjoy them. I also just kind of think that Minish Cap would work really well on the Switch because it's a portable console. And Minish Cap was originally made for the Game Boy, which was also a portable console. With the Switch Lite kind of being compared to that of the original Game Boy Advance, it kind of just seems right to bring it out there. Maybe even make like a Minish Cap Switch Lite bundle? Yeah, that, that'd be pretty cool, right? But anyways, Minish Cap definitely deserves to be on this system, and that's why it is our number three spot on this list. I wish I could say more about it, but it actually has been a long time since I played it, so... Next game! Okay, so for anybody that's kind of confused with like the different changing of outfits and camera angles and whatnot, I was actually filming some of these parts at different points in time, so if that clears up some of the confusion. Sorry, I, I, I guess. Yes. Okay, you guys saw this coming, but The Legend of Zelda Four Swords is kind of in my top five, maybe top six or seven, I don't know. 
but Four Swords is a game that I just, I want to see on the Switch because it has so much potential. I want to briefly go over kind of or expand on what I said in my last video on why I think it could work and why I think it is just perfect for the system. For example, The Legend of Zelda Four Swords was based on multiplayer and you had to have multiple screens to actually play it. There's a lot of different ways I think this could work. You know, we could have, uh, go the simple route where you can play it on just one console and then have four Joy-Cons because that, that sounds reasonable. I don't see why that doesn't work. Uh, but a less complicated way to do it would be to just have four consoles and maybe just all connect to one screen somehow, if that makes any sense. You could have four consoles and with the Switch Lite, it just makes it way more perfect. You guys release a four sword Switch bundle, I will, my, it would blow my mind. I, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> the whole idea of having it on the system just gets me so giddy, you know? I have been playing uh, Castle Crashers as soon as I heard it was coming to the system, I, I bought it immediately, and it is right now one of my favorite games to play with my friends and N10 and other friends too. It's just a really enjoyable game, and it reminds me a lot of Four Swords, not necessarily in the way that you think, because Four Swords was more of a puzzle-solving game than an action game, but the whole idea of like co-op and teamwork was really, really interesting, and it has a little bit of a competitive aspect to it, too, which is why I think Four Swords would work perfectly, because growing up as a kid, if you wanted to get through the game, you had to work kind of as a team, but there was a competitive aspect to it as well because of the way the multiplayer worked. You had to work together to push things, lift things, beat bosses, all that kind of stuff, and it was just a really, really fun time, and I really want to play it again, but it's just kind of hard to do that, and it's not as enjoyable unless you're playing it with friends. So Nintendo... We need this game on the Switch so bad because we need more multiplayer on the Switch and this would be an extremely fun little game to put on it. So please think about it. Next game. Okay, don't click away from the video. I swear I have a very good reason for putting this at my number one. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. It's a treasured game and look at that cover. It's golden, it's beautiful. Even with a CD when he bought this, and the little golden Wii remote. Dude, Skyward Sword was one of the greatest Zeldas, and nobody can tell me any different. It was an adventure that I would never miss out on, and I would hope that a lot of people would want to play one day. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit why I think it could work. Now, one of the biggest pet peeves that a lot of people had, the motion controls for the Wii, um, the the Wii remote, it, it wasn't really the best. But with The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword on the Switch, you have improved motion controls. The Switch Joy-Cons have amazing motion controls, which was, and I'm, this is the only time you're gonna ever find me praising 1-2-Switch, but 1-2-Switch, it really, really shows how powerful and how accurate the Joy-Cons can be. So if you ported Skyward Sword over this thing, just imagine how great the experience could be. You could have this in tabletop mode and I could be swinging and slashing away at enemies, I could breeze through the game and uh, just holding my Joy-Cons like this right now and playing it on the system like this would be amazing. I want it so bad. And you know, this isn't the first time that it has been brought up. Back in 2017, with Breath of the Wild and the Switch releasing on the same day, Skyward Sword was heavily rumored to be ported over to the Switch, and another rumor was Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening receiving a port or a remake. So what's to say that this won't be the next rumor to come true? Now, um, I know that Nintendo has kind of already addressed uh, that we won't be getting that, but Let's be real here, Nintendo always likes to hide secrets from us, and this could be the next big thing. We could get this reveal at E3 for all we know, or some other big thing next year. I don't know, but I'm really hoping that we do end up getting this game one way or another poured over because it would be such a great opportunity and... Oh, I just want it so badly. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so yeah, just again, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe, all that good stuff. We got a lot of more Zelda videos coming this month, so I really hope you guys are looking forward to it. Anyways, I've been the Kia Time 15, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.